What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are having a great, productive, and blessed Monday. If you don't know me, my name is Terry, and I would love to have you as a part of my crew. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you are aware every time I upload a new video. So today is Mukbang Monday. You guys know we're here to chat and chew with Terry. So let's dig in. I'm going to let you guys know what I have. Today we are doing fried chicken with sweet and sour sauce. I got this from my local um, Chinese restaurant with sweet and sour sauce. I have some hot sauce here. I went to Wingstop. I am obsessed. <laughs> okay, not literally. With these voodoo fries. Y'all look at that. Oh, I fail. Okay, I'm not eating. Y'all look, <laughs> look at that. Oh, it looks so good. These fries are so good. And we are drinking water. Y'all already know my motto, especially if you have been watching me for some time. Eat in moderation. And I've actually been on a water diet, so I haven't drank anything but water. And I'm trying to keep it that way because I was drinking sodas and I started to notice my skin started to break out a little bit. So back to water. So let's get this off of here. Oh, Y'all, I'm so hungry. Super hungry. Okay. Let's take grace. Father God, we thank you for this food. I pray that it's nourishment to my body. Please make all things clean unclean clean i thank you lord in jesus name i pray amen 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 all righty so let's dig in we're gonna start with the chicken wing yummy 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 mm. okay first bite y'all want some hot sauce mmm Mm -mm. Okay, so what are you guys doing today? What plans do you have for this week? Y'all, I'm too pumped. I have some exciting things coming up. I'm always pumped, aren't I? <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. I should have brought something to put the bones on. Mm, let's dig into these voodoo fries, y'all. Mm, have a bite. Yummy, 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 yummy. Mm. Mm. Y'all, I have never really been a fan of Wingstop's fries because they were a little sugary at first. But with this cheese and this ranch and whatever the Cajun seasoning that they put on it, y'all, mm. it's so good. Mm -mm. We're going to try a little hot sauce on it this time. I have Louisiana hot sauce. Y'all don't know nothing about this. <laughs> all right, all right. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. mm. That's good, y'all. Mmm. -mm. That's yummy. I should have just poured the bottle in there. Mm-mm. 
water. Good for the throat. Y'all, I'm going to talk in a minute. Let me get a couple more bites. <laughs> I am so hungry. I already told y'all on Mondays, I try not to eat in the mornings. Just so I can come on here and eat for you guys. So good. Mmm. Mm. Sweet and sour sauce is so good. Mm. This one's huge. So y'all, what I have coming up, March 1st, which is this Friday, my husband and I are starting back up our marriage blog. I will post the link in the description box below. So you guys can go and check it out. And y'all, this information is pertinent to married and single and engaged. Because you start preparing for marriage when you're single. A lot of people get that wrong. Like they wait until they're in a relationship or they wait until they're engaged or, you know. But no, it starts in your singleness. So it'll be information pertinent to whatever status you are. So I suggest that you guys tune in. There will be, there's a link at the top of the um, Facebook page that has the website. So you guys can go and sign up and you'll be notified when we come on. But y'all, I'm pumped. We started this in, I want to say 2016, and we stopped for a while, a good while, and now we're back. Yeah. It's going to be some good information. Um, so yeah, we stopped for a really long time, and then now we're just now picking it back up, so we're excited about that. And then... We finally, I was going to try that, but <laughs> we finally got everything taken care of for the t-shirt line. So y'all, I'm pumped about that. I'll give more information when it's time, but everything's set up. I'm ready to go. So we just have to pick a date, which I'm thinking it's probably going to be mid March. But I'm definitely ready. Definitely excited. So, uh oh. What exciting things do you guys have coming up? I read last time some of you are in school. Y'all, I'm praying for y'all that are in school. Those of you that have, have businesses. Stay-at-home moms, y'all. I got y'all. Because <laughs> we need it. Those of you who are going to work, praying for all of you guys. 
If y'all haven't noticed, I've ate about, what, three flats and one drum. So you can tell what's my favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna take a yummy bite. Can y'all hear that crunch? I love crunchy chicken. And I mean, they fried it to perfection. Y'all, I'm going to start, I decided last week, mm. what is this on the stone? I decided last week, I'm going to start talking about topics. Whether it be happiness or I don't know guys I'm just gonna start talking about different things while we eat and then maybe a little bit after but me and my husband were having a really good conversation about happiness. When people tell you to do what makes you happy, to be happy, it's not just some kind of cliche. It's literally true. Happiness is in the eye of the beholder. A lot of people look for happiness in the wrong place. Your spouse cannot make you happy. Your job can't make you happy. Like, it's a choice. It literally is a choice. Even when things aren't going right, I choose to be happy, guys. Even if I know I'm in the stuck in the mud, <laughs> don't know how I'm gonna get out. I choose to be happy. I choose not to let anything or anyone steal my joy. And I find my joy in the Lord. It's not from anyone or anything because people will let you down. Mm -mm. Sorry. People will constantly let you down, constantly disappoint you. So if you put your happiness, your job, how many times y'all want to walk out your job a day? <laughs> so if you constantly put your happiness on another person or another thing, you're going to be disappointed. So, y'all, just be happy in everything, every situation. Choosing to be happy. can really um, change your life. Your perspective on things can really change your life. I choose to look at 
say I'm late for something. I'm like 15 minutes late. I choose to look at that as, okay, maybe the Lord was trying to stop me from having a wreck. Maybe it was going to be a wreck down the street and it could have been me. You know, I mean, I choose to look at stuff differently or maybe I might walk in right at the perfect time and win a raffle or something. I don't know. I just choose to look at things a lot differently than most people. And it's not a fake happy. When I say choose to be happy, I don't mean walking around smile, smiling. By all means, if you know that there is something genuinely wrong, depressed, something like that, get help. You can pray. Pray and ask God to pull you out of that thing that you're in. But get help too. But I just mean, if you are just somebody who lets, like, your circumstances, your situation put you down. Of course, it's harder than it sounds. I don't mean walk around fake smiling or whatever. Just choose to be happy. Choose to look at the brighter side. Choose to look at. It could be worse. So, we just had that conversation and we just found that um, just looking at a lot of people, especially like on my Facebooks and stuff, you see a lot of people post a status like, I just need a man to make me happy. Or, I just want a man to come in and do this and do that. I want them to get my nails done and this and that. Do that for yourself. Like, <laughs> spend time with yourself. Get to know yourself. And that doesn't guarantee you're going to be happy getting your nails done or just having a man around. You're just going to be miserable. And you're going to bring somebody else into your misery. So, y'all, that really was the basis of our conversation. People looking for joy and happiness in the wrong places. It's cursed though. Mm -mm. I can already tell y'all now. I will not eat all this. <laughs> but y'all already know. I got four other mouths. I will take care of this. No questions asked, no problems. <laughs> Y'all, this is so good. Yeah, my fries are almost gone. Go ahead and refill our water.
Y'all, I really don't need the ice. This bottle was sitting in my car. <laughs> Y'all, when I buy water, if my husband don't bring it up, it's sitting in the car. So, <clears throat> my water is always cold. <laughs> I don't even know where my fork went. Did I drop it? Y'all, I dropped my fart. But I put ice in everything. Like, I like my drinks ice cold. I put ice in my cereal. I'll put my cold Cokes in the freezer so that they can get the little ice in them. And I can drink them like that. I don't care if it's a drink in the fridge. That's how I like it. Mm. I think I'm going to eat one more piece of chicken. And yep, yeah, it's a flat. My husband likes these drums more. Y'all, I started to bring my little baby on. If y'all want me to bring my children on. Because today, well at first, before I was coming on, my um, youngest son, my 11 month old, did not want to be put down. <laughs> He's usually really independent, but today he just wasn't having it. But he's in there now playing. Y'all probably can hear my children. So I think I want to bring them on for a mukbang. I think I want to bring them on. How about that, y'all? Y'all can meet my little characters. Got greasy chicken face. Mm, 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 mm. Finish the fries. I hope my hot my mouth <coughs> isn't covered in grease. I always forget to bring a napkin or a towel or something. I'm gonna have to make me a little checklist and hang it on my wall, like on a dry erase board or something, so I can do food check. Water, check. Condiments, check. Napkins, check. This cheese sauce. I'm going to get some of their cheese sauce and eat it with the chicken. Mmm, look at the fat. Mmm. a piece of chicken. Let's try that.
Oh, y'all, that might be good. We're going to try that. Chicken and cheese. Chicken and cheese. That might be good. That was a good little bite. So we're going to try that. Mm -mm. I am getting full. Trying to make sure we're still on, guys. Y'all remember what happened last time? We got cut to the off. <laughs> and I was still talking. Like, I was having a full-blown conversation with y'all. And it was off the whole time. And then we pop back on and like a huge portion of the food <laughs> was gone. So, you know what? Did I have a towel? It's close by, but it's out of reach. So, whatever. But y'all, this is really good. Y'all let me know what y'all want to see next. I was thinking about you know what? We might do crawfish next time. What y'all think? I was going to do a seafood boil today. But. Honestly, I didn't feel like cooking the seafood. <laughs> but let me know if y'all want to see a seafood boil next time. Then I'll get. I mean, I went to sleep kind of a little bit late yesterday. Because I wanted to stay up and clean after the kids went to sleep. That is the best time to clean when you have children the house is quiet everyone's in their beds i mean yeah it's therapy it's literally therapy so i wanted to clean last night and then um i was to bed kind of late so i was like i really don't feel like cooking and then i woke up early i'm get my son ready for school and all that good stuff. So. Okay. I need to stop. 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 So, guys. I had an awesome time. Y'all can hear my kids coming. They opened the door. So, they're coming. Luckily, we're at the end. My ch my um youngest is obsessed with Mario. So you can probably hear Mario. Hi. <laughs> Go say hey. Say. I'm little Nikki. Say hey. You want to fry? You want to fry? So I guess you guys can say we had a surprise guest. <laughs> you fish fry? Yummy. Yummy. You gonna say hi? Say hi everybody. Jordan. <laughs> You're not shy boy. Say hey. But y'all, this is my youngest, Jordan. My baby will be one in less than two weeks. And y'all, it is unreal. I'm going to have a story time next time. And I will tell you guys about my birth. Um, this is my miracle. Um, both of us almost didn't make it. So I'm going to tell you guys that full story. If you guys want to hear... So, we'll have a story time next time. But, he'll be one. And, y'all, I have been so emotional. Because, when I think back over a year, this could be, like, this, I could be mourning instead of celebrating. So, I'm excited. 
But anywho, guys, I had fun talking to you today. This was really, really good. Um, this was my first time doing the fried chicken in that in the sweet and sour together. However, I've had sweet and sour, sour chicken, but this is really good. Y'all, I love these fries. Try these fries. Wingstop Voodoo Fries. Try these fries. They're really good. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know what you would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up. Share this video on your social medias. Guys, I enjoyed you. I love you guys so much. Remember, Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> no bye-bye for y'all. Bye, guys. <laughs>